Hello everyone and welcome to the Light Revolution series, video number two. In video number one, we discussed the importance of clock genes and circadian rhythm in our lives. So if you have not watched video number one yet, I encourage you to stop this video, go back and watch it. Though if you don't want to, you can still watch video number two, understand it and gain valuable insights without needing to watch video number one. In this video, we're going to discuss the main factors that disrupt our internal clocks and circadian rhythm, leading to poor sleep, poor digestion, inflammation, weight gain, hunger at the wrong time of the day, and much more. We are also going to discuss how we can shield ourselves from those disruptions. So you know that terrible feeling of tossing and turning all night, unable to fall asleep, or perhaps you're someone that falls asleep easily, but you experience this feeling of waking up feeling exhausted and unmotivated first thing in the morning. But it turns out that artificial light from your devices, yes, that light that comes from your phone as you're scrolling on social media at night, or the light coming from your television, or even those LED bulbs in your kitchen when you're preparing a meal at night. It turns out that this light is the main trouble that is causing all of these problems. It actually disrupts your sleep and it deprives you from accessing restorative rejuvenative sleep and it leaves you feeling sluggish and worn out during the day. And it's also associated with faster aging, inflammation and weight gain. But you know what? It turns out there's a lot more to it also. Not very surprisingly, we now know that artificial blue light at night causes sugar and carbs cravings before bedtime. Very recently, Rick Rubin on his podcast was interviewing Dr. Andrew Huberman and Dr. Jack Cruz talking about the relationship between light and health. And Andrew Huberman has previously mentioned several times on his podcast that he is not a big fan of blocking artificial blue light at night or wearing blue light blocking glasses. However, Huberman mentioned that he cannot fall asleep if he doesn't eat carbs at night. And Cruz's response, he told Huberman that he was actually blue light toxic. Now, what does it mean to be blue light toxic? It means you're chronically exposed to unbalanced artificial blue light that is not proportionate with the other frequencies of colors, like in the case of sunlight. Or even worse, when you're exposed to this unbalanced blue light at the wrong time of the day. What does it mean wrong time of the day? It means at night when there's no actual blue light in nature. And what this artificial light does, it increases your cortisol, the stress hormone, which in return increases your blood sugar level to prepare your body for action, for a fight and flight. And the results, you get those nasty cravings for sugars and for carbohydrates before bedtime. And not only this stresses your body out because of the high cortisol level, but it also leaves your cells and organs unable to repair and rejuvenate at night because they will be busy digesting all the food that you're eating at night. Now, remember in video number one, we spoke about the example of the cave. If you don't remember it or if you did not watch video number one, just to summarize it, we said that if you were to stay in a cave with no access to sunlight, you still experience a daily rhythm, but it's not exactly 24 hours. Your internal clock will shift by 0.2 hours every single day. Now, the nasty thing about artificial light at night is that only one night of exposing your eyes to that light after the sunset will delay shift your clock by 1.5 to 3 hours every single night. And this means that in a matter of two days, you will feel as if you traveled from New York to the other side on the earth to London without actually moving. And you will experience the terrible feelings of brain fog, inability to sleep well, inability to digest well, that you would usually experience when you travel. And here's the sad truth. Most people in our modern world have made this normal. They normalized it. They just live in this box, in this reality of living off rhythm, of being jet lagged every single day. And they have no awareness what life feels like outside of this box. It's sad that most people today have not experienced what it truly feels like to access a restful night's sleep and to live in optimal rhythm, to be able to think creatively, to digest, perfectly 
the truth is that you will not be able to experience that reality unless you take yourself outside of that box that you've created for yourself. If you are someone who is being exposed perpetually to artificial light at night, it means the chances are you have not ever experienced what it feels like to live in rhythm. And the thing is that this will lead you to stay up late. It will lead you to eat more at night. And all of this will pave the way for all the unhealthy habits that will follow. So you're paving the way to an unhealthy habit that not only will sabotage your health, but will also be the greatest obstacle for you to truly experience happiness, love, and success in your life. So it becomes imperative to start becoming aware of our artificial light exposure at night and using the right tools like the circadian light harmonizing glasses from Viva Rays to block the right frequency of light at the wrong time of the day and therefore allowing your body to maintain that healthy rhythm, allowing those clock genes to be in sync with mother nature and all of your body to vibrate one vibrant healthy symphony just like in the case of a symphony playing music and that is in rhythm and in sync okay so i hope that you have gained a lot of great insight in this video and that you have gained greater understanding about the detrimental effects of artificial light at night and that i'm able somehow to inspire you and empower you to do the right things to block this artificial light at night and to help others around you like your family and loved ones to do the same. In the next video, we'll be discussing the relationship between light, clock genes and hormones and how to use all of this knowledge to create more balanced hormones in our bodies. Lastly, I want to invite you that if you're enjoying this content, please be active, breathe this mission, share it with others. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, share it with, with your loved ones, ones, share it with your friends because you will indeed make a difference in their life and it will return back to you a thousandfold. Take care my friends.